as of recording this video, it is less than 30 days until a Starfield Direct drops, and I am beginning to get pretty excited for what they might show off at it. There's been plenty of speculation about what they may reveal, so I thought it would be a good time to revisit what we may get shown and have a bit of fun comparing what I wanted to know last year about the game and to what I want to know now. My name is Hawkins, welcome to my channel. Now let's go have a good waffle at what we may find out, or not want to find out, from the Direct in no particular order. This first point is really in response to the ESRB rating reveal from a few days ago that dropped the news that Starfield will be a mature rated game and will have in-game purchases. Now a lot of people, including me, are concerned what this could mean, and I'd really like Bethesda to just put us out of our collective misery over the mere possibility that there may be some kind of loot box or locked content mechanic in the game. If it turns out that it's just referring to things like future DLC and you can buy a pass for it, or creation club content, or even them doing paid mods, which by the way I fully support paid mods, because some modders do absolutely hella good work, then I'm totally fine with that. That's part and parcel of Bethesda games and I'm completely happy to spend my money on that sort of content. What has folks worried is the possibility of there being more monetization in the form of things like XP boosts, cosmetic skins only available for real money, gear and weapons that you can buy and not earn. Want to get this really cool fancy ship? That'll be 20 bucks. Now, I already know that there's going to be kickback over this point, which is why I'm getting it done right at the start and get it out of the way, because I know it's a polarising opinion, and how people spend their money is entirely up to them, but I also know there are people like me who are a bit fed up of buying a full game on release and then getting bombarded with, buy the XP boost, get this alternate suit, get this weapon kit upgrade, or buy this full set of weapons before we even get out of the main menu and into the game. I just want to know for my own peace of mind exactly how these in-game purchases are going to be handled and if Bethesda are branching out from their traditional DLC pass and implementing a more intense monetization market. After all, they are in this to make money and will be looking to cover what I imagine would be the offset from being a day one game on Game Pass. But when a game I'm playing on my PC or console starts feeling like a mobile game that's asking for you to drop lots of money on it or miss out on stuff, that's where I draw the line. And if Starfield ends up being a game where you can buy things and not earn it in the game at all, I probably won't be playing it as much after my initial playthrough of the story. Jeez, that got a bit doer there, didn't it? Alright, let's let's just move on, okay? I've had my negative bit out of the way, it's done. Let's move on and look at some much cheerier things that I hope they show off at the upcoming Direct. It still gives me a pretty good chuckle that we still don't really know how we can go about exploring the planets. So far all we've seen is walking and using the jump pack and I really hope there will be more. Hopefully the Direct will show off some fancy rovers or speeders or something that allows us to pick up the pace without returning to our ship, leaving the planet and then landing again somewhere else. I used to even think that we might get atmospheric flight, but the more I considered it the more I started ruling it out. I mean, every scene we've seen of our ship flying on a planet is the actual exit cutscene to go to orbit, so now I'm just hoping that we can, you know, get some ground vehicles because I don't think atmospheric flight is going to be a thing. Honestly, I'm sure there will be more transport that we just haven't seen it yet and I really think the Direct would be a fantastic time now for us to get like a little vehicle showcase that will just show off some of the fancy ground vehicles that we can travel around in style and explore the planet to our heart's content. Okay, so this one is kind of a broad subject so I'd ask you to bear with me here. Right, to start, I don't think I'm alone in this, I want zero story discussion. Honestly, I don't think they need to show off anything to do with the story any more than they already have. We've had snippets and theories are rampant and I'm really enjoying that we still barely know what it's about. So please, let's keep it that way, though I'm sure there'll be folk out there on the other side of the fence who want to know more and I'd rather the direct kept away from spoilers, so sorry. What I mainly hope 
the Direct will be used to show off is one of the main things I see people wondering about, how the game runs. There's been a lot of discussion over frame rate, and I know that I fall into a category where I don't really see that much difference from 30 FPS plus. Maybe it's just I'm old now. But when FPS drops to slideshow levels, even I notice that. However, I'm also now aware that there are folk who have issues with sub 60 FPS, and Xbox did make such a big deal out of the whole 4K 60 FPS that in my opinion the whole FPS situation has swiveled from it doesn't really matter as long as it's a stable 30 FPS to they really need to release it at 60 FPS. Even though I personally would be happy with a stable 30. So I'm really hoping that Bethesda are going to show off Starfield running smoothly and let us see some up close and frantic gameplay with combat during some non-spoilery side missions that will I hope alleviate some of the fears folks have over how the game will perform at launch. What other gameplay stuff should they show off? I'm glad you asked. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I want them to have a look at more of the other in-game mechanics. I'm hoping we'll get a much better look at the base building. It's been a long time since they showed off the first details about it and I'd love for them to just get more in depth about the limits of what we can do. Like how do we discover new things to add to our bases, how we can operate them. I've always loved base building in games and I'd like to see if it's similar to Fallout 4's settlement system or has it evolved into something new. What we've seen about base building is so old information now and I'd like something more up to date and maybe see what they've changed since that first reveal so long ago. And the same goes with shipbuilding. I really hope they go much more in depth about what we can do with our ship or hopefully ships. Show us more of what we can build, what the limits are. Can we build a ship that is as big as that cruiser we saw in the release date announcement trailer? Or can we make like an itsy bitsy little ship that, you know, it's a single man one and we can just roam the galaxy solo? There's so much more that they could show off in regards to the shipbuilding and the Direct would be a great place to reveal more of it. Overall, I'm really hoping that Direct is just going to show off as much as they can of how the game looks, runs and feels without ruining anything. I mean, it's a fine needle to thread if you ask me and I'm really hoping that they knock it out of the park with the gameplay that they do reveal. Another broad subject here, I know, but I think it works better this way when discussing what we could expect from the Direct. So outside of the gameplay and mechanics, I'm really hoping that Bethesda will show off some of the world that we'll be living in, from the people we'll meet to what we could discover out in the depths of space. Now I've said it before, I don't want them to show off companions that much, and to a degree that's still true, but for those who I'd consider story companions. But I would like them to show off a bit more about how we recruit crewmates or outpost colonists. I'm curious how involved a process it will be. I mean, even Jedi Survivor has a recruitment where all you need to do is go talk to the person and they'll move to the settlement and set up a shop. Personally, I'm hoping it will be a bit more involved than that with Starfield. That depending on how skilled the recruit is, we have to do a lot more in order to recruit them. And how do we get details on what people can do in order to decide who we want to recruit? I'm having flashbacks to Final Fantasy X's Blitzball scanner system here. And do we hire them and that's them happy forever? Or do we have to maintain their happiness by doing other stuff for them? I'd really like to know more about this sort of stuff, that's for sure. And can they please give us some confirmation if we are indeed getting pets, be it cats, dogs, or space hamsters? Just no fish this time. I always end up killing the space fish every single time. But I very much would love to have a pet wandering around either my spaceship or in my outposts. So please, Bethesda, let us know if we can have pets. Last part for this, for me anyway, I would really like them to show off, if any, some of what we may see out in space. We've seen the galactic map and we can see that we can travel to different solar systems, but can we come across anomalies in the void of space? Will there be things like black holes or nebulae that we can explore? I really enjoy space exploration and sometimes I like to travel to places in games just to take photos of fantastic views. I'd really like to see more of that in Starfield. Selfish, I know, but I really hope that they can show off what Starfield has to offer out there amongst the stars. And 
and there we go. I have to say, I'm getting pretty hyped for the Direct. I hope you guys are too. Really looking forward to seeing what they're going to show off. Hopefully they'll show a lot of what we're all asking to see at it. If you've made it to the end here, thank you very much for watching. And do leave a comment below with what you'd like to see at the Direct. Also, if you feel like it, leave the video a like and consider subbing to the channel to see what comes up next. But from me for today, that's everything. I hope you all have a lovely day and take care.